oldest museums on Earth. By day, visitors come to see the treasures within, but by night, it's a different story. children approaching. They're here. Welcome to the British Museum. You're about to begin an incredible journey through the darkened, night-filled galleries of this great building. Let me introduce myself to you. I'm Agatha, your tour guide. I'm much like the tour guides you see around during the day, except I only do the night shift. Now... I'm looking for some brave children to become guardians of the museum, and I think you three might just have what it takes. What do we know about you? What are your names? I'm Isaac. I'm Georgia. Mariam. And where have you come from? Leeds. Leeds. Welcome. You must be wondering why you've been summoned here in the middle of the night. Listen carefully. You have just one night to discover the secrets and mysteries of a relic held deep within these walls. You will face three challenges. Each challenge will unlock a vision about your relic. Pass a challenge and you will all see the vision. Fail and the vision will be revealed to just one of you and you will have only their memory to rely on. Your knowledge of the three visions will be tested in the final battle when you come face to face with the Dark Lord. Succeed and you will become guardians of the museum and receive the Golden Scarab. Fail and you will become relics yourselves, and part of the museum forever. Agatha! <laughs> That's the Dark Lord. He knows you're here, and he'll be sending his dark forces to seek you out. Come along, it's time for your first challenge. Beware of the shadows. Follow me. Come along, chaps! Run as fast as you can, children. My dark forces will seek you out. <laughs> right, let's stop here. But keep on the lookout. Remember, those dark forces could be hidden in any shadow. Now, to learn anything about your relic, you have to see a vision. And to do that, you must complete a challenge. Now, your first challenge takes place in the land that made this rather beautiful turquoise mask. Hold on nice and tight. Come along. Tighter than that, I don't want to lose any of you. Are you ready? Off we go. Ooh. Oh, goodness me. Now, that was a textbook landing. Now, this pyramid belongs to the Aztec god Tlaloc. He's not going to be happy that we're in his pyramid at all. Now, the challenge is to complete this pyramid puzzle. Now, all sides have to match with their colours, but if you hear that thunderclap, that means you've woken Tlaloc. So, you must run over to these glints, lie down and freeze. The clock will stop. He might come in and cause all sorts of havoc. And beware, one of you could be picked out at random at any time and taken out of the game. Once he's gone, the clock will continue. Now, you must have a completed pyramid at the end of 90 seconds in order to pass. Now, if you pass, all three of you will see the vision. If you fail, I'm afraid only one of you will see the vision. Right, do you think you understand all that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right, well, you only have 90 seconds, team, so you can go in three, two, one, go! Go, 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 come along! We must work together as a team. Look at Georgia lifting that all on her own. Come along. Not, that's, that's it. Which one goes first? Put you together in the right order. Round, there. Jolly good advice. Yeah. Make sure yes. sides match. Quickly. Put it in. Push it in. Good, good, good. Yeah. Okay. It's there. One, two, three pieces. Which one's next? Oh, heavens, quick, quick. Hide, hide, hide. That's Tlaloc. Stay completely still. No, he's taken Isaac. Oh, Isaac. We've lost Isaac. Never mind, we'll have to do without him. Come on, girls. You know how it goes now. That's green on this side. Just under 60 seconds. Come along. Now, do those sides match? No. No, that goes blue, blue, yellow. Come on. That's it. Very good work. OK, which one goes next? Um, Roger, this one. This one. That one? Come along. Charger. One, two, three pieces. This is the fourth piece. Come along. Oh, heavens, quick, run. 
Run! Hide! Quick, get down and stay very still. Oh, no, he's going for Georgia. Ah! Go, 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 team! Go on, he's up in there. there. Come on, oh, get in there. there. Come on. We're running out of time, chaps. This is against the clock. 30 seconds. Only 30 seconds, come on. So, Blue, you're nearly there, you're nearly there. You're doing very well. Okay, so there. Blue's... The little one. Very bad mood indeed. Look out! He's going for Mario! Go, chat! Go! Okay, now you saw where they fell. So we'll race against time now. Go, team! Come along, communicate with each other. The one up there! Ten! Nine! Come along! Which one's next? Oh, oh, we're so very close. You had the last piece in your hand. Oh, I can hardly believe it. Oh, I was so tense there. Goodness me. I want to place it on top for old time's sake. Oh, dear. All three of you... Actually, three. One, two. Where's the other one? Where... Oh, come along. Let's get you out. Come on. Come along. Hurry. Up your pop. Come on. Now... I'm afraid you did fail, which means, as you know, only one of you can see that vision. But it's not the end of the world, not to worry. You just have to choose someone with a very good memory now. You must decide as a team who that's going to be. Me. You're, it's going to be you? You've got a good memory? Yeah. Are you all sure? Yes. Well, in which case, I shall send both of you back to the museum. Now, hold on to the torch. Now, keep an eye out for the dark forces. It is all down to you. Now, your whole team is relying on you, OK? No pressure. Now, the way we unlock a vision is like so. Stand up nice and straight. Let's pull you up to the ceiling. Jolly good. I will say a simple rhyme. You hold on to the torch and just do as I say, OK? Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in. Hold on tight. Close your eyes and see. The vision begins. I know this place. It's Anglo-Saxon England, over a thousand years ago. Look, a Saxon warrior lies dying. I sense death. The warrior is dead. I sense great wealth, a helmet, sword and shield. The warrior's belongings are prepared for burial and placed beside him in the ground. This is a burial worthy of a great leader. We're leaving. We're coming back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. Oh. oh, goodness me. So, Georgia, you and you alone have seen the first vision. Now you'll need to remember everything so you can tell your teammates. Te Actually, where are your teammates? Team? Oh, Team? Oh, there you are. So, Georgia, tell them everything that you remember. Well, we went to England and it's in the Anglo-Saxon times and there was a knight and he died. So his armour got buried in the sand and there was loads of crows flying around. OK, so remember everything, chaps. It will come in very handy when you meet the Dark Lord in the final battle. <gasps> We're not safe here any longer. On to your second challenge. Follow me, chaps. So Georgia has seen the first vision, but will you remember everything she told you? <laughs> oh, quick, back, back, back! Look, there's a dark force. There's no other way round. We're going to have to run past him. We'll wait until there's a gap. Move along. Ready? Ready? Go, go! Quick as you can! Quick as you can! Quick, quick, quick! You and me now. Okay, let's go. Quickly, quickly. Ah! Quick, George, on the stairs! <sighs> okay, right. Is everyone all right? Yeah. Oh, phew. We must, must remain vigilant at all times if we're to have a hope of seeing the next two visions. 
Which reminds me, your next challenge is off to ancient China, so hold on tight, chaps. Come along, quick, quick, quick. OK, you ready? Good, off we go. Oh, goodness me. Right, did everyone make it? Let's see, we've got one, two, ooh, ooh. Who's missing? Georgia. Georgia, that's Down here. Where, where, She's what, there. What's she, what's she doing in there? Come on out. I told you guys to hold on, didn't I? Dear me, this is ancient China. Isn't it magnificent? I think that looks like a good place to sit. The spirits of four dragons have been trapped, and it's your challenge to free them. Now, they've been trapped in four of these blocks of wood. And to free them, you take a block of wood, place it on these plinths, and using your best martial arts technique, you give it a jolly good chop. Now, if there's a dragon inside, it will look like this. And the spirit will light one of these four lanterns. You must free all four dragons in 60 seconds in order to pass. Yes? Now, does that all make sense? Yeah. Right, good. Who's going to go first? Me. You're going to go first, Mariam? Up you come. You have just 60 seconds, team, and you can go in three, two, one, go! Go on, Mariam! That's it, Mariam. Yeah. 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 Very good. Yeah. And... Yeah. Oh, dear, oh. that's disappointing. Come along, keep moving, keep moving. Come on, George. Get some on this one. Hey, yeah. And enjoy. Oh. No, oh, dear. Good night. Come along over here. Oh, dear. Come over here, Georgia. That was a frenzy, wasn't it? Going all over the place. Now, team, what happened? Well, it's difficult to predict which one will be in. Now, you only managed to free two dragons, which means... What does it mean? Only one can see. Only one of you can see the vision. Now, you must decide as a team who that's going to be. Isaac. Isaac. It's going to be, it's going to be Isaac. Why are you going with Isaac? Because we think he's got a good memory. Right, ladies, that means I have to send you back to the museum. Hold on tight. Now, don't touch anything while I'm gone and keep an eye out for those dark forces. <laughs> oh, where are we? What's oh, scary? The dark force could be somewhere around here. Now, I will say a simple rhyme. You place your hands on the torch and just do as I say, OK? Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in, hold on tight, close your eyes and see. The vision begins. A woman, she's sleeping. She's having strange dreams. What's she dreaming of? The dead warrior wearing his mysterious helmet. He's outside in the grounds of her house. She awakes. Now she's writing a letter. She seems anxious. My nights are sleepless and cursed with these strange dreams. Every night, the same dream. A Saxon warrior stood on the same mound. I am convinced there is something buried there. Please help. Your assistance is needed. Yours sincerely, Edith Pretty. The image is fading. We're coming back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. Goodness me. So, Isaac, you and you alone have seen the second vision. Now, you need to remember everything so you can tell your teammates. Okay. Uh, actually, actually, where are your teammates? Uh, Team? Team? Oh, goodness oh. me, there you are. OK, so, Isaac, tell them everything that you remember. Well, this woman's sleeping, and it was, like, in 1938. And she was dreaming about this, this Saxon person standing outside with a spear and a, a shield standing on this big mound. Georgia, you saw the first vision. Do you remember anything on the map that might tell us where this is taking place? I think it was Southern Hill. 
Sutton who? Okay, Sutton who? Well, that's something to bear in mind, chaps. Now, remember, you've got to keep all of this locked away in your heads. You'll have to answer three questions correctly to receive the Golden Scarab and become guardians of the museum. Fail, and you will belong to the Dark Lord forever. Now, we're not safe here any longer. It's on to your next challenge. Follow me, chaps. Come along. Isaac has seen the second vision. Will you forget all that he told you? It's way past your bedtime. <laughs> okay, now your time at the museum is almost at an end, but before we... Shh, shh. It's a dark force. Don't move. Okay, it's gone. Now, you have just one challenge left to complete. And if you want to defeat the Dark Lord, you must find out what's in that final vision. Now, your final challenge takes place in North America, where this pole was carved from the trunk of a giant cedar tree. The owl at the top is thought to be a guardian animal, obtained in a ritual known as a vision quest. How very apt. Come along, chaps. It's off to North America. Hold on tight. Quick, quick, quick. Are you ready? Yes. Good, off we go. Me. You know, I do like travelling by torch. It really is the only way to travel. Oh, mind out the way of the fire. Now, where are we? Oh, well, welcome to North America. Take a seat, take a seat. Now, can any of you tell me what sort of a dwelling this is? A teepee. A teepee. A teepee. It is indeed a teepee. Now, traditionally, these were home to many Native American people. But today, it serves as a perfect setting for your third challenge. Now, I'm going to call on the ancestors of the Native American people. They will send us three objects. You must decide what they use those objects for. You must get at least two right in order to pass. Now, if you pass, I hardly need remind you, all three of you will see the vision. If you fail, I'm afraid only one of you will see the vision. OK, do you think you're ready? Yeah. Yep. OK, then let us begin. <sighs> Ancients. Please send us the first object. There we go. Have a good look at that. Now, is it a decoration to hang inside teepees, such as this one? Is it a fly swatter to kill annoying insects that buzzed in people's faces? Or is it a shield used in battle? It's, it couldn't be a shield. Like it, it couldn't have been a shield and it couldn't have been a... Nice OK, so you're going with a decoration to hang inside teepees. That's what you're going with? OK. Jolly good. We'll place that there. There we go. On to the second object. <sighs> Ancients, please send us the second object. <sighs> there we go. A very small object this time. What do you think that might be used for? Take a good look. Any ideas? No ideas. Is it a hook used for catching fish in rivers? Is it a wooden tool used for sewing cotton together? Or is it a catapult used for hunting? Should we go with a fishing rod? Yeah. Fishing. Fishing. A fishing, a fishing rod. A fishing so rod. Talk, talk me through your thinking. Because. It's like if you pulled the fishing rod back, then it like kill the animal by putting the like mouth there. Jolly good. Just pass it here. Here we go. Place that there, and your definition here. You ready for your third object? Yes. Okay. <sighs> Ancients, please send us the third object. Ooh, wow. Look at this. Isaac, take a good look at it. Be very careful with it. It looks very colourful and it looks very nice mm. with all the pieces. It is so. colourful, isn't it? And there's an eagle. Now, was it a toy that was mounted over a crib so that the baby could play with the colourful feathers and beads? Yeah, that could be. Is it a stick held by people at council meetings? Or is it an edible treat for children? made with dyed sugar cane and decorated with feathers and beads. I think that the eagle stands for like a posh 
and chalk posh, on it. Like a prime minister or ah. a posh person. So what are you going to go with? A talking stick. The a council. Talking stick. Okay, you're going to go with a stick held by people at council meetings. You think that's yes. what it is? Yes. 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 Now let's see. Let's place that there. And there's your definition. So, how many have you got right? So you thought this was a decoration to hang inside teepees. It is, in fact, a shield used in battle. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a disappointment on the first one, but, but never mind. So you thought this one was a hook used for catching fish. It was, in fact, a hook used for catching fish in rivers. Give yourselves a round of applause, chaps. Very good indeed. You need this one to be right to pass. You thought this one was a stick held at council meetings. It was a stick held Yay! by people at council meetings. Jolly good, which means you've got two out of three, and that, chaps, is a pass. That's very good news indeed. I'm going to come over there. I'm so pleased. Now, that means... What does it mean? We can all see the vision. All three of you can see the vision. Oh, at last. Jolly good. Now, we can't really put our ankles together, can we? But we can certainly sit up nice and straight. Yes, sitting up nice and straight. Jolly good. OK. Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in. Hold on tight. Close your eyes and see. The vision begins. We're in the grounds of Edith Pretty's house. Look, an archaeologist. He's digging, excavating the mound that Edith saw in her dream. I sense a secret is about to be discovered. A great ship. It must be the burial site of the Saxon warrior. More is uncovered. Ornate treasures and the warrior's magnificent helmet. A symbol of his wealth and status, which will become known as the Sutton Who Helmet. The image is fading. We're coming back to the museum, back to the museum, back to the museum. <sighs> oh, goodness me. So, what do you remember, chaps? Well, I remember that it was just... I don't know if it was a man or a woman, just put his, like, spear down and started digging and then they found the ship. So that could be the medic, the, um, the helmet. Right, well, I would agree with you. Very well done, chaps. Now, you need to remember everything about the Sutton Who helmet in order to defeat the Dark Lord. And now we must make our final journey to face him. Come along, chaps, it's time for your final battle. I can sense the Dark Force is descending on the Great Court. Come along, chaps. This is the safe way. Follow me. Come along. So, all three visions seen. But now, it's time to face me. <laughs> okay, this is it. This is your final battle. Good luck, chaps. I just need to summon the Dark Lord. The moon shines bright and darkness reigns. I bring three children here again. Their minds are sharp, the vision's seen. Dark Lord, awake! We challenge thee! Agatha! You bring me more children. They look too sleepy to fight me. This will be easy. <laughs> Actually, you know, they've done very well. Silence! Do you really think they have the knowledge to defeat me? Yes, absolutely. As you wish. Let the battle commence. Three visions you have seen about a relic held within these walls. I shall ask you questions about what you have seen. Three correct answers will earn your freedom, and you will become guardians of the museum. Three incorrect answers, and you shall never leave. You will become relics yourselves, and remain here for all time. Georgia, step forward. It's time for the first question. Georgia, you can do it. The warrior was from which period of history? Sutton, how? Let us see. It's Anglo-Saxon England, over a thousand years ago. <laughs> now Georgia belongs to me. Sutton Who was the place it was found. The warrior was Anglo-Saxon. 
You've lost one teammate. You still need to get three questions right in order to defeat the Dark Lord. Let's see who's going to call next. Isaac, step forward. There was a woman having strange dreams. What was her name? Us. <laughs> Let us see what you fail to remember. Please help. Your assistance is needed. Yours sincerely, Edith Pretty. The woman's name was Edith Pretty. Now two of your teammates belong to me. It's all down to you now. You need to get the next three questions right in order to defeat the Dark Lord. Good luck. Mariam, approach. Good luck, Mariam. What large structure was buried with the warrior? The ship. Let us see. I sense a secret is about to be discovered. A great ship. It must be the burial site of the Saxon warrior. You still need two more, child. Prepare for your next question. In which year did Edith Pretty write the letter about her strange dreams? 1938. Let us see. It's the year 1938. She's writing a letter. She seems anxious. Yes. Your final question. Get it right, you win and free your team. Get it wrong, you fail and belong to me. Name three pieces of armor buried with the warrior. The helmet. Um, the helmet, the ship, and I don't know the rest. Let us see. I sense great wealth. A helmet, sword, and shield. <laughs> you have been defeated, and now you shall never leave. No! You join your friends and become relics forever! Yes! Agatha, you have failed! My darkness reigns supreme! I will return! More children will come! And I will be waiting! <laughs> oh, I can't believe the Dark Lord won! They were so close! I need more children to fight him! We can defeat him, chaps! Until next time, following on. Do you have what it takes to become a guardian of the museum? Play the relic game and find out. Watch for clues and answer the quizzes correctly to return all the lost relics to the museum and print off your very own certificate. Go to the CBC website now! Warriors, Fridays at 5.45 on the CBBC channel. That's almost it for today, but get over to the CBBC channel where Ian and Hacker have Tracy Beaker, followed by another new adventure in High Karate, Journey to Japan. <laughs> <laughs>